One day after President Barack Obama addressed the nation on immigration, he's now trying to gather support. He's in Las Vegas where he spoke to a local high school highlighting plans to shield millions from deportation. CBS 4's Elliot Rodriguez joins us now with more. Elliot. Well, Erica, the president hit the road today to sell Americans on his immigration policy changes. He went to Las Vegas, as you said, where the Latin Grammys were held last night, a show that followed his speech on Spanish language TV. At a campaign-like rally in Las Vegas, President Obama explained why he took action to protect as many as 5 million undocumented immigrants from deportation. We are a nation of immigrants, and that means that we're constantly being replenished with strivers who, who, who believe in the American dream. Adults with children born in the U.S. or with permanent legal status can apply for a three-year work permit. A simplified visa process will allow high-tech workers and foreign students in STEM courses to stay longer. It keeps heightened security on the southern border and focuses on deporting those who are high risk. Republicans say any chance at passing immigration reform was shattered with the president going it alone. GOP leaders call it illegal amnesty and an abuse of executive authority. The president has taken actions that he himself has said are those of a king or an emperor. Outside the White House Friday, mothers eligible for relief under the president's plan celebrated a victory, joined by others who won't qualify. I'm qualified because I have my daughter's citizen. My friends here is no qualified. Now they're caught in the escalating battle between the White House and the incoming Republican-controlled Congress. Republicans have raised the idea of a court challenge against the president's immigration actions. However, the White House said today the president's executive orders stand on solid legal ground. This will be tested. Elliot Rodriguez, CBS 4 News. Elliot, thank you. Speaking